Hey guys and welcome back to another video. As you can probably tell from the title, I've managed to get my hands on Pez 2020 a few days early. Don't know why, don't know how. I think the posters team here in the UK has literally messed up. But while we wait for the release of FIFA 20 later this month, I thought it'd be a good idea to jump into Pez Master League, get a grip of it, have a look at the gameplay and check out FIFA's main competition, its main rival game. I'm a big fan of Pez. I did a Master League mode last year with Wolves. For those of you that have been around the channel, you guys will remember that. But this year, I've got it early, so we're going to jump in. The only downside to that is that the option file to give you all the team names and the kits, etc., is not yet out. It doesn't come out until its release date, which is actually Tuesday the 10th of September. So not too far to wait, but I thought we'd jump in, play, whether on West London Blues or North London Whites or whatever the teams are called on it, I, uh, I don't know. But when the option file comes out on Tuesday, we'll download that, import it over, and then continue this Master League series. So if you're hyped, drop a thumbs up on the video and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And let's jump straight in. And the first thing you'll notice is that the club names are a lot closer than what they used to be. Aston RB, that's obviously Villa. Bournemouth RB, Brighton WB, you know, it's clear which teams are what. Chelsea B, what is that all about, man? Chelsea FC, come on. Um, but yeah, much, much closer than what they used to be. So, fair play to Pez. Liverpool no longer licensed team on Pez. They uh, swapped them out and they got Manchester United in as a partner team this year. But we're not going to be United. Instead, we're going to go for the other officially licensed team, which is Arsenal. One thing they have really improved is the ability to customise your appearance as manager. You can see we've got some legends here. We've got Zico, Cruyff, Maradona, Romario. Literally get to pick one of these guys as your appearance. Rude Hullet's on there as well. Some legendary, legendary names in the game. I'm going to go with this one, Casero. I don't know if he's a made-up guy or not. Actually, I'm not going to go with him. I look nothing like him. Let's go with this guy. Let's go with this guy. In terms of settings, I'm going to be a bit optimistic and I'm going to go with Superstar, which is actually the hardest level you can select straight off the bat. Once you've won five matches at Superstar, you can actually up it another level to Legend, but Legend doesn't become available until you've won five matches on Superstar. That's the only real setting here that we need to pay any attention to. Let's, uh, let's jump in. Cheeky little cutscene here then to begin. I'm going to watch it and see what happens. Put a lot of detail into the cutscenes, Pez. That's one thing I have noticed and something I think FIFA can do better. Let's see what FIFA 20 brings on that front. But you can see here we're meeting Koscielny, who is obviously no longer at Arsenal. Neither is Monreal, to be fair. Um, the op option file will update those transfers, but not once we've officially started the Master League mode. But there's going to be our main man this year, Aubameyang, hoping for plenty of goals from him if we are to be successful. I'm just chilling there. Didn't want to wear a suit. Thought I was more of a shirt and tie manager, but we're just meeting a few of the players as we get to grips with life here at Arsenal. Look at this. In the boardroom. Meeting the board. Obviously, what else would you be doing in the boardroom? Setting the season objective, that's what. We've got a little coffee there, that guy's on his phone. We'd like to discuss this season's objectives. Okay, come on in. As sports director, we should be aiming to win the league. What's your opinion? I think that's a little bit optimistic. Sorry, Arsenal fans. Top four, absolutely. But winning the league, I think it's slightly out of my reach in the first season. But let's see if we get to have a say. I think we should aim to make it into the European Cup, finishing the top half. No, we're definitely better than that. European Club Championship is obviously the Champions League, but for Pez purposes, it's not licensed. I think I'm going to say that. Maybe they're going to be annoyed. Maybe then I'm not the right man for the job. I don't know how this works. It's not the most ambitious of goals, but I believe I think it's best if we aim to finish in a position to win a place in the European Club Championship. Let's see what they say. I guess a steady plan may work better. All right, we've got the backing of the board. That is good. Without the backing of the board, you can rarely succeed. Now, time to meet the press. Always a daunting moment in anybody's career. You've seen some horrendous press conference clips. They tend to go viral, but let's see what they ask us today. How do I fancy the chances of winning the league in my first year? I've already said that's too much of a reach, but we need to respect the other team. We're far from favourites. We will win the title. Even though I think we're going to go Champions League spots, should we feed the press some story? Let's tell them that we are going to win the league. See how they react. I want to thank everyone for getting me here. It's a wonderful opportunity, confident that we can win the league. You've got to make the press believe, you know? Everyone's going to read these stories. What style of football do we want to play? Well, Arsenal, well known for playing short, sharp passes, attacking football. I like it. I want to continue that. I want to put on a show. Boys play hard, see clean sportsmen like, no, I want to win, and I want to win in style. Can't blame people for wanting to see results, but I'm in the opinion that putting on a good show is just as important as winning. If you're going to win, make sure you win in style. I literally just said that. Come on, man. That's the type of football the fans want to see, and that's what we're going to aim to show them. Cool. Short and sharp press conference. Just a few questions to answer then. Straight away, and we're done now. Media duties. Let's see what happens here. Welcome to Master League. 
Check our messages, blah, 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 blah. Little cutscene there of news. You can see that we've been appointed as manager. And you can see we've got some friendlies coming up shortly before the season starts. I hate, 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 hate the fact there are no club badges. Hate it, hate it, hate it. Imagine how good Pez would be if there were club badges. But we've got some options at the top. Time, uh, forward time, obviously that's just continue or progress. Team management, my team info, where we can see the schedule, the squad list, the player status, the team role list and club performance. We've then got the manager's office. In there we've got the messages, management career, club account balance, budget settings, I'm assuming we can adjust those. And then we've got database, which is sort of transfer market news, club ranking, team ranking, team information, that kind of stuff. And in team management we've got game plan, negotiations, training, which we'll dive into in a bit more detail in a minute, skill training, youth team training. I remember this from last year. We were very hands-on in developing players. That was something that Pez does do much better than FIFA, so I'm glad to see that they seem to have continued that. But for now, let's just forward time. So we've got a few messages. Breakdown of the budget, blah, 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 blah. Transfer fees come out of the transfer budget. Obviously, salaries come out of the salary budget. So two separate budgets, again, that's pretty cool. Um, prize money and stuff can be distributed to these budgets as I see fit, which is good. It means we can introduce the, the salary, the, you know, the wage, wage budget, or we can introduce the number of uh, pounds that we have to spend on new players. Great media appearance, papers can't get enough of you. This is something cool, your, your media sort of persona is gonna have an effect. And I've got an agent, got the attention of some other clubs today, so expect some offers to come in. You might wanna start thinking about how you respond to them, and you can check this in the uh, Management Career Manager's Offers page. But the main ones we're gonna be interested in are the training and the International Champions Cup, which is obviously a friendly pre-season competition. Our first opponent is Madrid Rosas RB. I'm assuming that's Real Madrid. Now, looking at the squad, Pez, 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 look at the number of players that are no longer at Arsenal still in this squad. Aaron Ramsey, he went to Juve ages ago. And, obviously, Juve are a licensed team, so you'd have thought they would have sorted that out already. Um, Alex Iwobi's no longer there. Welbeck is no longer there. I know some of these have gone out on loan. Mkhitaryan, I think, is no longer there. Um, Torreira, I really like, so he's going to take the place of Aaron Ramsey. I'm just sorting out the starting eleven. Um, to see kind of what my squad looks like. And at the moment, it does not look good. Dennis Suarez can go straight in there. Look at the names here. It's ridiculous. Um, Callum Chambers. And Ketio is obviously at Leeds. Um, but yeah, squad not looking good. Not the most up-to-date of team rosters. Sorry, Pez. In terms of attacking instructions, counter-attack, possession game. I want to play a possession game. I want it to be short passing mainly. I'm going to attack out wide using the pace of Maitland-Niles and Aubameyang. And do we want to maintain formation or be flexible? I think if we're going to do a short passing game, flexibility is the key in breaking down opposition defences. So we're going to do that. In terms of defensive instructions, don't want to, don't want to go all out defence. Um, when possession is lost, players apply pressure from the front, looking to win the ball high up the pitch. We'll do that. We'll form... We'll do it. We'll keep it narrow. Um, I don't want to concentrate on just sort of looking to nullify the wide threats of opposition. I want to sort of just keep it narrow through the middle and the rest should take care of itself. In terms of applying pressure, we will be conservative. Um, and I do want quite a deep defensive line because I know we haven't got the fastest of defence other than Hector Bellerin. Kalasnach not too bad either, by the way. It goes quite detailed in terms of the advanced instructions as well. I'm not going to dive too much into this right now because I just want to get a feel of the game. But... Key player for me, I think, will still be Meza Ertzil. I know he hasn't always delivered in his time at Arsenal, and fans get very frustrated with him, but if we can get him on the ball in the right areas with Aubameyang, Lacazette, Maitland-Niles making runs you know, ahead of him, Maitland-Niles, I think, is going to be a key player in the future, um, and I would like to see him. I know he's expressed his desire to play as a winger. I'd like to see him move forward as we prepare for our first pre-season game. I don't want to spend too much time minning the round, but allow Gendozi to play in the competition. It'll help achieve some of his potential. It's the perfect stage to test a youngster like him. Who is this? My assistant manager? This guy was in the boardroom supporting my ambitions. It would be a good opportunity. I'll consider it. That was not a response that I picked, by the way. That was auto-response. But let's see what happens. Let's dive into game one. I might have to drop the difficulty down from Superstar. I haven't played Pez for a while. We'll see how we get on. As you can see from the lineup, this is Atletico Madrid, not Real Madrid, but also features a lot of players that are no longer there. You can see Griezmann, obviously we know he's at Barcelona. I'm not going to try and get too caught up on that because it is very, very frustrating. And Pez will update it. Um, it does get updated, especially when I download the option file. But that comes on Tuesday. You can see the starting lineup I've gone with. Very, very strong indeed. 
I want to give these a good game uh, and, and see how we get on on this difficulty. But let's jump in. No more messing around. Come on. Obviously, being a pre-season competition, we're not going to get to see what the Emirates looks like. But I have seen some cutscenes and I have seen some pictures on Twitter. Um, and it does look absolutely amazing. But here at a neutral stadium, Diego Godin there, you can see. And Socrates leading us out, the two captains, or Socrates, however you want to pronounce it. But yeah, I think Pez looks good. Obviously, graphically not quite on the same level as FIFA. And again, the licensing, if you can get beyond that... It's fine. Once you download the option file from Pez Universe, in case some of you are wondering where I got that option file from, I think it's like a fiver. And then you get access, download it onto a USB stick, stick the USB stick into your PlayStation. It's not available on Xbox, it is PlayStation only, but there are instruction videos on how to get that set up. It's pretty simple, just takes a bit of time. Come on then, let's go. First game of this Master League series. Let's make it a good one. What I will say from the off is that I'm not worried about the results in pre-season here. I just want to get a feel for the game like that. Tackle's coming in hard. Okay. Just want to get a feel for it. See what the difficulty is like. Maybe we'll need to adjust it, as I've already said. Come on, Bellerin. I just don't want to get torn apart and embarrassed here. Already, in the opening minutes, we've conceded a corner. Anything going to come of this? They play it short. Oh, nice turn from Felipe Luis. Puts the ball in. Head of the way. Nicely done. Nicely defended. But I have given possession away already. Here's Koke. Gets the ball back. Nice football from Atletico. Or Madrid, whatever they were called. Robas. Blah, 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 blah. Here's Partey. Into Alvaro Morata, who shoots. First effort of this series goes to the visitors. Good save from Leno. Mazinac's going to bring the ball forward. I like him. I like him a lot. Very strong defender. Just going to knock it inside. Here's Torreira. Lots more to come from him. Got Bellerin making a run out wide. Pick him out. Could we be a good delivery here? No. Ball is looped up into the air. Still knocking about loose. Headed away. Going a chance to hit this from Meza Ertzil. It's blocked. And Atletico Madrid are going to get a chance to clear it here. Or are they? That's a great tackle. Man inside. Bellerin gets the ball. Got it. Chance. Uh, back stick. Get in. Get in. Get in. What's happening? A bang. Oh, my word. What on earth happened there? Planet Chaka. Normally gets booked every single game he plays. Playing a nice one too with the Atletico man there. Here is Aubameyang. Goes past one. Look at his pace. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Hit one, lad. Oh, what a save. What an absolute rocket. Bellerin. Can I stick the ball back into the box if we can? Can we win the header? No. Comes out only as far as Torreira. Torreira, nice back heel. There's an Ertzio on his left foot. Looks to bend one. Good save again from Oblak. We're all over these guys. Here's Koke. Good football this from Atletico as they look to build an attack in this game. Here's Lamar on the left wing. Cuts back. We know he's left-footed, so I don't want to let him get it back onto his left like that. Good block. Really good piece of defending. Atletico coming forward. Here's Griezmann. Oh, it slipped as he went to hit that. Literally, he wasn't touching him. Literally slipped at his own accord. That's quite cool. That's something you see in video games a lot. We look to play the ball out wide, and I'll just pretend that never happened. Madrid coming forward here with Griezmann. We're taking it off him, though, quite easily. Enjoyed that. Got no real options though, so we're going to have to just slow things down. And after quite a frantic opening, sort of 20 minutes or so, the game does seem to have calmed down a bit. And it's been played. That's a foul, surely. Thanks, ref. Seems to be played it a bit. Hey, Ozil, where are you going? I was passing that to you. I was passing that to you. Thank you. Good bit of defending. Made up for it. But one, what I was going to say is one thing that Pez has been a bit ropey over the years is the refereeing. They tend to just brandish yellow cards for fun. Hopefully they've sorted that out this year. But only time will tell. Staffy. Into Meza Ertzil. Torreira. Plays the ball out to Bellerin. No one making a run ahead of him. Got Mana here. Atletico sitting quite deep here. We have got a runner on the left. Just going to keep possession. Be patient. Try not to rush things. Have a tendency to shoot from distance as well, which annoys everybody. But sometimes it's better than kicking the ball out for a throw. He was laid off by Lacazette. Aubameyang with a chance to use his pace. We know he's absolutely rapid. Go on, Aubameyang. They can't keep up with you. Oh, what a tackle. Juan Fran. Despite his age, he's still able to put the tackles in. Nil-nil at the break in our first game here. That's a nice turn. That's a nice ball into Morata. Turns Leno with the save. Should have defended that a lot better. That was far too easy there, but no damage done. Unless I give the ball away here, which I'm not about to do. Still nil-nil. Here's Antoine Griezmann looking. Oh, it's a great ball. They've split us open. Can't get across, I don't think. Good save, Leno. Bellerin did not know where the ball was there, did he? It's Antoine Griezmann who scored, which is really annoying because he's at Barcelona now. He's doing his trademark celebration. Looks good. I do like it. You know, graphically, this game is not too bad. I'm annoyed to concede the goal in that manner. 
It is Arsenal nil, Atletico 1. There I am, showing my frustration. It was just reacting to the rebound that we failed to do. And we've been punished for it. This pass here from Griezmann, the man who pretty much started the move, was amazing. I then tried to get across. Tried to put the slide tackle in. Didn't get there, but Bellerin, too slow to react, look. One thing he did see, which was quite cool in that replay there. I don't know if you saw it. You know, everybody saw it, but uh, Bellerin did put his hand up to apologise to his teammates as if he knew it was his error that was cost that goal. But here he comes, looking to make amends. Bamiyang. Make the Niles. Oh, if we'd have got that through, that would have been dangerous. Ozil finds Granit Xhaka. Knocks it inside. Torreira. Going to keep moving the ball right. Bellerin makes a run. Got the pace to get on the end of that. Well played. Can he put a decent delivery into the box? Bellerin is running fast. Wasn't the best of deliveries, but we're going to keep possession. Here's Mesut Ozil. Looking to bend one top corner, maybe. Mesut Ozil just over the crossbar. That was close. Running out of time here in the second half. Just about 15 minutes remaining. Atletico Madrid still coming forward. They're playing some nice football as well. Griezmann into the box. Managed to block it. Corner ball, but... We're uh, struggling to put any attacks together at the moment. I should probably make some changes. But look at this corner routine from uh, Atletico. Bunching up. Now they all split and they all make their runs. Difficult to defend. Header comes in, but it loops harmlessly over the crossbar. Torreira coming forward. Ball inside, looking for Maitland-Niles. He will get there. Touches it on to Lacazette. His first touch wasn't great. Surely that's a foul. Ball falls to Aubameyang. Oh, Black, man. It's like the third or fourth big save he's made in this game. Got ourselves a corner here then, which Ozil will deliver. Deliver it, he does. Into the danger zone. Lacazette is up there. Ball is knocked down to the edge of the box. Hector Bellerin with a first time strike. Deflects just wide. I think he's pulled his hammy as well, look. Yeah, he has. He's limping. And he literally did pull his hammy hitting that shot. That is not what we need here in pre-season to one of our key players. And Bellerin beat his man. Luis is quick. That's a foul, surely. No, great tackle. Just hoping them referees were the same as, like, Pest 6, where he'd have been sent off for that. Straight red. And that's coming through looking to confirm the victory here. Leno comes out. Gathers the loose ball, and I think we're out of time. One last attack, maybe. Needs to be a good one. Don't want to rush it and just give the ball away stupidly. Kolasinac, fitness is a problem. But, Aubameyang, need to get the shot away. Uh, excuse me. Thank you. Last chance. All or nothing. That's Morata. He doesn't work hard. He doesn't make tackles like that. Right, because it's quite a long way out. I'm going with Granit Xhaka rather than Meza Ertzil. I don't know how to take free kicks on Pez. We'll see how this goes. It's not a bad effort. Didn't quite get enough whip on it. It was the last kick of the game. We've lost our first friendly 1-0 thanks to that man's goal. But the performance was not bad. It wasn't bad at all. In the other result, it was Juventus who were victorious in the other game. Beating Benfica by a goal to nil. Puts us third in the group, but all is not lost yet. I just don't fancy our chances of beating Juve, to be honest. Benfica, I think, will take so one thing that Pez does do well is players have roles and the fans will give them nicknames as well based on their performance. But you can see Meza Ertzil here has become a smart player. Apparently that's his new role and the rest of the squad already thought of him like that anyway. And a scouting report, we found a special talent that we know you'll like and it's Suso. So the scout has come to me. I've not put them on uh, any kind of scouting mission whatsoever. They've just recommended the player based on what they've seen. And obviously we know Suso from Milan, not somebody I'm gonna go in for at this time, but the transfer window has opened. And from what I'm aware, I believe we have received an offer. No, it's a new scouting. And uh, the scouting instruction is to bolster the weak spots, which is why he's gone and found Suso. That is a weak spot, right, right wing forward. Um, I could do with another winger. Could also do with another center half. Um, this squad could be strengthened. I think we're very good going forwards, not so great defensively. So we'll look to, uh, to dive in the market as best we can there. If you've got any suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. One thing I have done is gone through the squad and put all the players that are no longer here, like your uh, Aaron Ramseys, etc., on the transfer list, along with Koscielny, just to try and raise some funds. Once we've got those, those players gone and they move on to their other clubs and the money comes in, we'll be able to splash the cash and improve this squad and tailor it to what we need to do well this season. But that's the uh, end of episode one, guys. Bit of a taster of what's to come. If you've got any tips and tricks in regards to Pez, please leave them down in the comments below. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram as well. The links will be down in the, uh, the uh, description below the video. But thanks very much for watching. See you again soon. Peace out.